who's on first, what's on second. Um, this is going to be brief for me. Um, we close our Wednesday services to offer to anyone here who has a need for prayers, has a need to confess sins if they um, of a public nature, or anyone here who would has not been baptized in the Christ, that you can be united with him in his death, burial, and resurrection, and the cleansing of your sins for eternal life. As a word of encouragement to each of us, also, as we leave this assembly, I just invite you to try to take the priorities of this world and put them into perspective. As Apostle Paul said, do not love this world or the things of this world, for this world is passing. And I can tell you this, the reality and truth of that expression uh, has become much more meaningful to me in my uh, older years of misplaced priorities in my past. I wish I knew then what I know now, but let me tell you this, that life can get in the way of life. That is, physical life can get in the way of eternal life. So focus upon God, focus upon his word, say your prayers, and live thy life dedicated to Christ and see if that does not make a huge difference in your life. And I know all of you think that way and do that. I just suggest that you recommit yourself, rededicate yourself, renew yourself, uh, in the Lord. And uh, I guess if I could say one other thing, um, when you're working, it's difficult to get up in the morning, get yourself ready to go, but say your prayers in the morning and, and see if your life isn't just a little bit better, uh, if your day is a little bit easier. I found that to be true, and I look for God's intervention in my life, and that just is a nice way to start the day. That was a rather disjointed, but I hope coherent message, and I um, and uh, I will close with the the song.